the hind wing. I repeat what I just finished. See if I can snag a vein. Move it up. Have the right size notch. Get that wing down quick. Okay, the absolute minimum has now been finished. I'm reasonably happy. I will add a minimum of two more um, pieces of paper, and I might add four more sheets of, of pieces of paper. How many pieces of paper and pins should I use? For my own collection, I normally would use a minimum of four pieces of paper. This would be the minimum. Maximum might be over a dozen. How much do you use then? As many pieces of paper it takes to hold everything down secure. How many pins do I need? Good grief. Well, every piece of paper will have a minimum of two pins, a lot of extra ones. Don't be surprised if you use 20, maybe even 30 pins on a large specimen. A lot of students, for some reason, try to finish the whole job in three or four pins. It's almost impossible. If you're using 20 or 30 pins per specimen, I consider, yeah, that's more or less average. Depends what it is you're doing. If you're making a collection, you just need to get it going for this kind of class. It's not really an entomology class. You use three, four pins. The bug didn't turn out perfect. It'll be just fine. If you are making a collection for a museum, uh, you might use 50 pins and a whole lot more paper because every specimen you want perfect because this is for public display. Exactly how you do it depends on what your goal is. Okay, if this was my collection, I would add another pin there. I try not to go through two or three layers of paper because they're hard to get apart without wrecking the specimen. One more for sure. One more piece of paper for sure. What if I tear off the paper and it's too long? Don't worry about it. If it really is too long, you can always come by with a little scissors and cut it off. Two more things. Occasionally, either the abdomen or the legs, I will have to hold down by having a piece of paper go this way. This particular specimen, I don't really need that. But for dragonflies, oh, dragonflies are the only other order that you would spread the wings like this. But for some moth specimens, I have to hold down the body, hold down the legs by coming this way. Or maybe even another piece of paper having two of them crossways. Now there's one final thing, which I sometimes leave off to my sorrow, which many students leave off because they say, well, that's not really necessary now. And the answer is, you're wrong, and I was wrong. It is necessary now. The label. If you don't have the label, you haven't completed the job. You're going to make a lot of mistakes because, well, I, you know, I'm kind of busy right now. I know tomorrow morning I'll have time to label it. And tomorrow morning, oh, I'm late. You know, i got to get going, got to get going, got to get going. And that night, what label? And the next day, uh, yeah, I know I need a label, but uh, did I catch this one at school or did I catch this one somewhere else? And he said, oh, I'll just fake it. Don't fake it. You don't want to do that in anything scientific, and you don't want to do that in your life. You admit that, like old Bill, yes, I screw up a lot. Too bad. I do the best I could, but no, I'm not perfect, and I'm not going to be perfect. I just do the best I can, and you're upfront about it. That's life. Any questions? I try to deal well with questions. That label there, uh, it could just be a piece of torn paper with... You put your own number. Your own number, your own name. It doesn't or have to be the actual... I could put an abbreviation of the label. Um, oh, on the label is the date you catch it is the date. Not the date you pinned it, not the date you traded with somebody else, not the date you pulled it out of the freezer or anything else. It's the date you caught the specimen is the date of interest. I think that pretty well covers it. What Thank about you. the antenna? I was lucky on this one. Yes, yes, sir. So for the labels, you don't have to go like uh, how it says, like uh, one, one FF, two FF. 
No. There is no number shortage. So, so. Is, it, 